Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're going to introduce two new cars to the channel, and here they are. All right, first, we have a 1995 first gen Lexus GS300. This is a four door sedan goldish two-tone um, it's got some pretty cool wheels on it they're like double three spoked and um, this car also has the NA2JZ with a distributor on it non VVTI um, the interior is uh, tan leather um, the seats are pretty bad so they got seat covers on them. Um, this car is automatic. That's probably, you know, the biggest uh, problem with it. Let's uh, pop the hood quick. The front is pretty clean. It's got uh, projector lights in it, which is pretty new for 95. Struts to hold the hood up. That totally works sometimes. There we have the 24 valve 2JZ with the Lexus uh, cover on it. Right there, 2JZ GE. Um, it's leaking some oil down onto the um, alternator there. So we're probably gonna have to do a head gasket, or not a head gasket, we're gonna have to do a valve cover gasket on this pretty soon. I got this car from an older gentleman. He was the second owner. He bought it in 96 um, after the first owner. It only had about 10,000 miles on it. Um, and then he had it after that, so now it's got just under 200,000 miles on it. Um, he kept it stored every winter. Um, I drove this a little bit last fall, and then I've stored it in here all winter. Um, we still got a little bit of snow. But anyway, um, my overall goal for this car when I bought it was to convert it to manual and, you know, have like a VIP style drift car. So I've been looking for a manual transmission for this car and uh, looking at R154s pretty much on uh, W58, something you know that will kind of be easy to bolt onto a 2JZ. And you know they're anywhere from like $700 for just a transmission, um, you know that's unknown to like $1,500 for an unknown transmission. Um, and then you've still got to drive somewhere and get it and pick it up and find all the parts. So you're looking at 1500 bucks, two grand into this uh, transmission swap before we even really can get started on it. Um, so I was kind of thinking of some other options and what cars I could steal, get a whole car and um, have everything to do the manual swap for under two grand. That is what led me to purchasing this car. And this car here is a 1988 Toyota Supra 7M GE. It has seen some better days. So um, I got this car for $1,600, had to drive roughly three hours to get it. It's got some nice Sparkle Rally wheels on it. Um, apparently the kid who had it last took it to some shade tree mechanic, didn't pay the guy. The guy came and smashed out the windows, dented some different things up, dented up the hood. Um, you can see there he whacked it here with a ball peen hammer, um, smashed the taillights out. Um, since then I've started building a new taillight. Not, okay, so this car runs and it has manual transmission in it. Um, Granted, it's missing a bunch of other stuff, and I want to steal the manual transmission and the clutch and all that stuff Transfer it onto this car, but since the car runs We are going to take it drifting and do some crazy stuff with this car until it doesn't run anymore So I got a Lexon window um, Which I don't really know if I need that for the racetrack, but it's just gonna make driving it um, a lot nicer and then I do need brake lights um, for the track so we're gonna be building some brake lights here um, five-speed 
And in the back, that's some uh, scrap metal I'm saving here for this job. The towers here are rusted out, so we're going to try and patch them there in this way a little bit. Um, that's what the scrap metal's for. Uh, these windows right here, I actually have. They're just sitting over there in the seat, and there's a bunch of random hardware just laying around, so hopefully we can get them to bolt in. Uh, not going to have a driver's window that's broken out. Um, we might maybe take the door skins off or something and see if we can get some of the glass out of there. Uh, let's pop the hood. This is also a target top car. So that's pretty cool, the top will be coming off. This also has hood struts, which is pretty nice. Um, pretty dirty engine, you know, oil kind of all over the place. Some Gorilla Tape on the intake and just kind of a mess of wires um, laying around. But hey, it runs, so can't complain too much there. Uh, let's fire these cars up and uh, Hear what they sound like, huh? Alright, we're gonna go Lexus first. This car is 100% completely stock, unmolested. Um, yeah, let's fire it up and hear what it sounds like. Supra next. This car is, um, I mean, mostly stock, I believe, under the hood for sure, but the exhaust has definitely been molested. So let's fire it up and hear what she sounds like. I did was leave the window open a crack all right thanks for watching you can buy our stickers link in the description we got the clappers we got the BA performance and we got these sweet uh, drift cars broke ass performance is what it stands for